वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू सेमी सर्कल्स एंड एन आइसोसलेस ट्राइंगल इन साइड अ क्वारेंट विद रेडियस सिक्स सेंटीमीटर द बेस ऑफ दिस आइसोसलेस ट्राइंगल इज पैरल टू द बेस ऑफ क्वारेंट एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस लिमिटेड डाटा वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ आइसोसलेस ट्राइंगल लेट्स चेक द सोल्यूशन विल सॉल्व इट इन थ्री स्टेप्स फर्स्ट स्टेप विल फाइंड द रेडियस ऑफ दिस पर्पल सेमी सर्कल the second step will find the length of the base for the triangle that is the length ab and third step will find the height of the triangle and thus the area of the triangle to find the radius of this purple circle we don't need this triangle at present so let's remove this now here let's assume the center of the semi circles is point p and point q we know that when two circles are touching each other then their centers that is p and q and their point of contact they lie in a straight line so let's join pq passing through this point of contact now in this triangle poq po is nothing but radius of blue circle that is 3 cm let's assume for purple circle the radius is r and thus oq oq will be radius of quadrant that is 6 minus r and pq pq will be radius of blue semicircle that's 3 and radius of purple semicircle that's r so it will be 3 plus r now applying pythagoras theorem in this triangle we get 3 square plus 6 minus r square is 3 plus r square to solve it let's open the bracket on lhs and on rhs let's apply formula for a plus b whole square and open the bracket now if we we'll compare both the side 3 square will get cancel down r square will also get cancel down simplifying it will get 6 square is 18 r solving it will get r as 2 cm so this r here is 2 cm so that was the first part of the solution now let's remove this construction which we have done here and let's bring our original triangle back here now for the second part we'll find the length of ab to find the base length ab let's extend ba to meet the quadrant at point e now given in the question is ab the base of the triangle is parallel to the base of the quadrant and thus this angle e here will be 90 degrees now here the length ab is nothing but eb minus ea so here we'll find both eb length and ea length individually so for length eb let's do a construction and join point o to point b now in this triangle beo ob is the radius of quadrant thus it is 6 cm now this radius of uh, purple semi circle is 2 cm and thus eo length eo length will also be 2 cm and in this triangle eob applying pythagoras theorem so we'll get 2 square plus eb square is 6 square and when we'll solve it we'll get eb length as 4 root 2 cm so here we'll get ab is 4 root 2 minus ea now this ea length for that let's remove all the construction which we have done till now and join this center p to point a now in this triangle pea so if you look at here PO is 3 cm radius EO is 2 so PE length that is 1 cm here and the radius here is PA is 3 cm so here applying pythagoras theorem again so we'll get EA length is 2 root 2 cm so here your length EA is 2 root 2 cm solving it 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2 that is 2 root 2 cm so we have got this base length as 2 root 2 cm what is left is to find the height of the triangle so let's remove all the construction which we have done and work again to find the height of the triangle now to find the height of this triangle let's extend cn to meet the quadrant at point f now here the length nf that will be distance between these parallel lines eb and od and distance between this parallel line is what is radius of this semi circle so nf is 2 cm how about length an 
we know that in an isosceles triangle then altitude is also the median of the triangle and thus an will be half of ab ab length is 2 root 2 so an length that will be root 2 cm and full length en that will be 2 root 2 plus root 2 or 3 root 2 cm and of that will also be 3 root 2 cm now let's join point o the center of quadrant to point c now this is also radius of quadrant the 6 cm and in triangle cof applying pythagoras theorem we'll get 3 root 2 square plus h plus 2 square is 6 square now when we'll solve this 3 root 2 square is 18 so we get h and taking it on the other side so we'll get h plus 2 square is 36 minus 18 36 minus 18 is 18 and 18 is nothing but 3 root 2 square so solving it and avoiding the negative signs a negative value we get h plus 2 is 3 root 2 or the value of h that's height of this triangle is 3 root 2 minus 2 centimeter and the area of triangle that is nothing but half of base base is 2 root 2 and times height height is 3 root 2 minus 2 solving it will get area of triangle as 6 minus 2 root 2 centimeter square that is nothing but 3.17 centimeter square i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye